So the immune system consists of cells and tissues and organs that work together to protect the body from foreign invaders. This can include infections, antigens, and pathogens. So we have three lines of defense. The first line of defense is a non-specific line of defense that's like our skin or bodily fluids such as mucus, saliva, tears, stomach acid, and they work to keep infections out of the body. The second line of defense is also nonspecific and it attempts to limit the spread of invading microbes. This includes swelling or inflammation at a cut. It signals the body to send white blood cells to this area. It also signals natural killer cells to consume bacteria and to destroy them at the site of the inflammation. Other things that are helpful are phagocytes, which swallow the bacteria and that has been identified by the helper T cells and interferon, which combats viruses and blocks cell-to-cell -cell infections. There's also a third line of defense. This is a custom-made defense. It is custom-made to fight off an, a specific infection. It relies on two types of cells that are made in the bone marrow, and that is the B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes, also known as B cells and T cells. So B cells produce antibodies to a specific infection. This is known as an antibody-mediated response. They're kind of like memory cells, and the, they'll remember specific infections. Uh, this is what happens when you get a vaccine. Your B cells recognize it and they know there's a problem. And then our T cells, which are made in their bone marrow but mature in our thymus gland, they attack the pathogens. They're also known as killer T cells and they pretty much move about the body looking to recognize these pathogens that they've seen before. Both helper T cells and B cells recognize infections. You want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.